doesn't have to stand in the queue to play the game. これがですね、もう操作できるんです。え、これ、すごい。This あ、こうやって戻すんだ。すごい。あ、なんかある。なんか荒れてますね。どうこれ。魚が今魚が今ですね。フィッシュ正しい。あ、じゃあ俺助けようかな。助けちゃうんですかいやいや、それはそうですよ
もうなんか鍋が鍋がなんだこれは取るところだった夕食を取るところだったこれ大事なのかもしれないですよそう,ですそうだね夕食をこうやってあのいろんな情報をチェックしていくごとにまあ、その中にひょっとしたらその犯人の変異体のアンドロイドと交渉できる情報が含まれているかもしれないあ,あ,とあとこの辺なんか結構いろいろ状況があるねありますねこれなんだろうなんかもう本当さ自分が科学捜査班に舐めてるあデータあ,あなんだなんデータ収集できるおそうなんですよブルーブラッドあブルーブラッドこれで型番が分かるんだそうですブルーブラッドっていうのがアンドロイドに使われる、まあ、血液のような役割を果たす液体なんですけどその中に含まれるデータを解析することでアンドロイドの型番を割り出したうあもういっちゃうんですかいやいやもういっちゃうんですか危ない<笑>情報足りますかこれいや足りない足りないこれ足りない<笑>これなんだこれ靴少女少女のそうですねああ多分今回の人質の靴ですかねあ負傷した可能性が人質の少女が靴を履いてないのであ上がった上がった飛び散ったガラスとかで負傷してる可能性があるもうちょっと上げたいなもうちょっと上げてから行きましょう,うんあなんかデトロイト市警の警官がなくなってますねこれで、ね、そうなんですねこれはちょっとあのエビデンスを組み合わせて To reconstruct past events. これはコラーが目視と特殊能力なんですけども現場にある証拠を分析することで何が起こったかっていうのを再現できる能力があるんです,すごいアンドロイドだねあこれあそっかそっかあれこれもうクリアこれは OK あっ o n c e you have all them no come back no, 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 no. 再生できますよね多分ねあ再生できるか、うん、これで Now that you have collected all the three You can you see here, wait. Now you can 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 see here, は発砲を目撃してるそしてやられてますがこっちにも黄色いのありますねここにあるかどこだろうそうです今のはですねこれ撃たれた警官の銃がどっかに飛んでるはずだとあったあったあれ武器を発見武器があった And now you unlocked it so you can you'll be able to take it そうですこれで武器がどこに警官された時武器がどこに飛んだかっていうのが分かったのでえこれもしかして武器手に入っちゃうんですか使いたいと思えばこの武器をあらやばいこの選択肢にやばくないですかこれやばいやばい<笑>これで武器が手に入るのか熱いあーあー取る取っちゃいますかいやー取っちゃうよ<笑>取っちゃうよこれはやばいぞーあーはーでこれ持っていくことも持っていかないこともできるんですよ So you can take the gun or you can just leave the gun あってほしい Something happened おなんか,なんか起こったみたいですね Shot him So you have to be careful because time goes by あ あ、そうです。あ、これは操作してる間もリアルタイムで状況は進行してるので、今は犯人の変異体が射撃したことでさらに状況が悪化したと。行きましょう。行きましょう。行きましょう。行きましょう。行きましょう。行きましょう。行き
君が感じているその感情はソフトウェアのエラーなんだよそうなんだよな手前の方に警官がいますよあ本当だこの人傷ついてますけどひょっとしたらまだ間に合うかもしれないです間に合うかな俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は俺は病院に運ばないと彼は死んでしまう人間はどうせいつか死ぬ今死んだって変わらないだろ人間はいつでも今から死血の処置をするそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそうかそどっちが正しいただどっちが正しいかっていうのは分からないうわーなんだこれやだ<笑>でこれでじゃあちょっと近づいてみよう,うえー、っとね現実的に論理的に君は結果品なんだ,どうなんだろうプログラムに問題がある修理さえすれば元通りになるはずだ修理さえすれば元通りになるとえー、ちょっと待って、下がってんじゃねえか、これ。This is a night our people will remember. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. 
You're awake now. Stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Marcus! Shit. Take cover! We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. I'm gonna send the humans a message. My name is Marcus. Just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus. I'll follow you, Marcus! Then follow me! Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratton Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated attack. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Violence is the only language humans understand. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. We're getting reports that hundreds of androids have been stolen from CyberLife stores. become a threat to our security? They're coming. This way! Fire! North! North. All right, what happened? They slaughtered them. My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. Thing ...that people are trying to wrap their mind around because these are really very real questions philosophically and morally that people are facing now in the world and, and in the next 10, 20, 30 years. I mean, I feel like you guys I think you added, I think you knew that this was all coming together. It built it right into the story. Yeah, right. Well, I was not the first one to see it. I was really um, uh, inspired by a book called Singularity, Singularity is Near by Ray Kurzweil, where he described his future in which, you know, human intelligence doesn't evolve much, but machines, they have an exponential curve in how they progress. So there will be a point in the near future where there are two curves we're going to cross and they will become more intelligent than we are. And what if 
beyond this point, they will start to feel emotion and start to want rights. How will we react? What will we do about it? Um, and that's a very interesting question. It's fascinating to me, especially because I think this is going to happen. It's not sci-fi. The question is only, is it going to be 20 years from now, 40 years from now? I don't know, but there will be a point in the near future where this is going to be the case. Yeah, David, I know you spent a lot of time on the script. I think it totally shows just in the, in the little pieces that we've been able to see. How, from a writing perspective, did you go about writing all the different replayabilities? Because based on different choices you make, the game changes over and over and over again. I can't imagine how long that script was and all of like the, you know, option B, option C. How I, have the, I have the same question. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I'm writing this kind of scripts for nearly 20 years, so I have some experience, but I must confess that Detroit's been by far the most complex script I've ever written. And it took me two years, which is quite unusual for me. It's a very long period of time. Final script is about 2,000 pages. It's really huge. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in comparison, a film is about 100 pages. This is 2,000 pages. So you can imagine, I mean, the amount of work, all the, the, the dialogues, all the, the, the conditions and the, the, the different branches in the tree structure. It's been really a nightmare to write, to be honest <laughs> with it. <laughs> A I beautiful appre nightmare. I appreciate your honesty, <laughs> yes, though. Yes, we, we thank you for the beautiful nightmare. Yeah, how do, how do you try and find the focus? I mean, how do you always direct things back to the story that you want to tell? Well, the thing is that there is not one story that I want to tell. There are many stories that I want to tell, and I just try to create this narrative space. It's a little bit and the steps and all those things. It's small details, but it makes a big difference in the end. Totally. I completely yeah. agree. All right. I, all right, so let me just say one thing. <laughs> The, the hostage negotiation, it's just rife with tension all the way through. And I was actually telling Malik earlier in the day, one of our other hosts, when you become a parent, it changes the, the what's at stake in that scene. And I know that you are you know, a parent as well. And I just, writing that sort of scene where a child's life is at stake and the tension is just racked up really high. I mean, yeah. how do you kind of play with that emotion but still keep it kind of in line with the story that you're telling? Well, it's uh, a lot of work. And, and to be totally honest with you, the very first version we had of this scene, the little girl was older. She was maybe 16 or 17. And we felt there was something wrong. I mean, we couldn't really connect and we didn't have the sense of tension because she felt like she was an adult. And of course, her life is at stake and it's important, but it was different. And um, there was something missing for me in the scene. And we just decided to do something simple as to have a younger, a little girl, because suddenly it becomes very interesting. She becomes very vulnerable, and uh, her feet don't touch the ground. It holds it like it holds yeah. her like like this. And there was a cable on set, so he could hold her with one arm. Oh my oh. God! So th <laughs> the little girl who shot this is uh, was nine years old, I think, uh, on set, and she enjoyed that a lot because between <laughs> each take we had to swing uh, all over the place, <laughs> and she loved it. But. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah. I'm okay, kind of some now. of the footage they showed last year, right? From uh, so you... I actually didn't realize it. It cut to gameplay. That's how like how seamless that was. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't. You're just like standing there. We're like, <laughs> man, this demo is taking a long time to start. Uh, Connor, do something. So this is one of our uh, playable characters in uh, Detroit Become Human. I shouldn't say one of our characters, like I made the game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> let's let's be clear. I am not with Quantic Dream. There's three uh, of them, right? Total, right? Three. Play yeah, one. there's yeah three characters. We just got introduced to Marcus, Marcus the uh, yeah. android revolutionary. That was last he's, night. He's, at, uh, and he's played by Jesse Williams, correct? Or he I looks exactly like Jesse. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, it, I think it, that's it's the either case. Either the doppelganger <laughs> I know, or right? played by. I'm not <laughs> sure. Oh but uh, this is kind of the hostage that. negotiation <laughs> scene that we. Yeah, saw. you might have seen this when the game was originally revealed, and now we actually get a chance to play it and see some of the different ways that the situation can pan out. Well, already, I'm thinking this is a very luxurious apartment. I love uh, the way the, the uh, objective just kind of appeared on the window like yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's really, really cool. nice. I mean, uh, Quantic Dream are kind of masters of UI, and they're, yeah. they, they like to keep the presentation really slick. Yeah, they do a good, a good job implementing the environment into the web. Fine. After now on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> it's like, uh, sir, you have to talk to the captain. All right, so what do we got over here? This is very official. Captain Allen. 
My name is I, Connor. I don't think I, any of us can hear what's online. being said. <laughs> yeah. So, Justin, I sure hope you I'm, know what choices. I'm, I'm to trying make. to imagine what they're saying they're right now. Shot down uh, well, they look really serious. <laughs> <These are laughs> <the tense environment. laughs> Things seem to be going well so far. Right. I don't know Falls. if that's true because there is still a hostage situation. Yeah. See, so uh, let's ask for the deviant's, deviant's name. name. Do you know its name? name? I haven't got a clue. Oh, there we go. We can Doesn't hear it a little matter. bit better. I need information now. to determine the best approach. <laughs> Justin, I think this is going to have to be behaving strangely by forced. instinct. Yeah. <laughs> this playthrough. Listen, every choice counts, man. Every <laughs> choice. <laughs> it really does. So and I mean, that's one of the cool things about now. Detroit and also well, the other care. games that uh, the Quantic Dream does is right. that so much oh, of it look, every is second controlled counts. by you, the player. Um, all through the story, I mean, especially in previous games like Heavy Rain, right. characters have... can live or die yeah. depending on what you do. So. Yeah, everything has ramifications, consequences. Uh, some, this, some things will make the game easier. If yeah, you do it, totally. Do it the correct way too. So, this, this. Oh God, I love their UI. So good. So good. I just want to see it all the time. I wonder how much time they spend actually like making the animations for just like the subtle things. This tiny little stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the great things about game design is it's you know it's a giant orchestra of tiny. Oh, here we go. There's some other okay. stuff over here. You're collecting data. This looks important. Data. Oh, Analyzing okay. the ammunition. So we're gonna reconstruct, reconstruct what happened right. here. Oh. Oh, and you use the uh, L2 and R2. Oh, that's kinda, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Just through. Oh, okay. So he's kind of like getting an idea of where. Yeah, I see. That's cool. Oh. Nice. If only he had that special little, those special glasses that I got, the guy from Heavy Rain, the detective from Heavy Rain had. <laughs> Make this way easier for him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has those glasses built into his face. Yeah, that's yeah. Because this is, uh, yeah. So as we gather more data, you'll see the probability of success is rising. <laughs> like somebody had a entertaining party. Yeah, this, this is when the party goes too far, and uh, and real emotions are running high. Hmm, something bad happened here. Oh, oh, oh okay. God. Well, I maybe shouldn't have made light of this because this is this got really serious. Yeah. So, for all you watching at home, Quantic Dream does not mess around. Right. This character that I really love could be a character that's on the ground lifeless <laughs> if I don't do this right. Yeah, and that was that was a really chilling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's really crazy being able. This is kind of like the ultimate detective game, right? right. Especially sure. when you're playing as this character. It's Connor, right? Am I Connor, remembering yeah. the name of this character correctly? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Justin says I'm right. Malik oh, says I'm is. right, yeah, so I Connor. must be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Justin, what unlocked. do you think so far? You seem like, for someone that's never touched this game, you're getting <laughs> along just fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty intuitive. Uh, I really like the whole uh, crime scene reconstruction mechanic that we're dealing with here. There we but go, of probability course, this higher. Is just one of the characters that you're playing in Detroit, which means, you know, you're gonna get different story and different gameplay elements depending on the other characters. Like right. the Marcus demo from last night. That was I mean, let's so talk cool. about that. That was super cool yeah. and very different. This is much more methodical and calculated. Yeah. The Marcus stuff, well it has some of those elements that seem like there's a lot of action, a lot of intensity. Right. Um, you know, he's an Android revolutionary. So right. he's uh, actually there's... on the other side, he's more of an activist, you know? Yeah, which exactly. I thought it'd be very interesting because the character you know, looks like Jesse Williams, who is an activist. You know, so, but it was cool because he, you know, you had the choice to be violent or to be more peaceful right. with uh, all the the robots that you had teaming up with you. So yeah, that was that was really cool. And the, uh, let's talk about the other character too. We yeah, can't forget please. about Kara. Yeah, absolutely. So she kind of kicked this whole thing off. Yeah, with yeah. the you know kind of the original uh, proof of concept and tech demo, yeah. the Kara trailer. So. That it feels like years ago. I don't even I remember know. when that that trailer. I just came remember out. everybody was losing their minds. Like this has to become I, a game. Oh, I know, totally. <laughs> and and that's kind of how Quantic Dream does it, right? Like you know, David Cage and his team. Yeah. Here we got to see a lot of the setting about how this is a you know near future Detroit. There's been an android boom, and uh, now you know there's just so much more at stake because there's sort of like this uprising of AI. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Ah. All right. Cool. Hey. Let's turn on some subtitles. Yeah, I feel okay. like there's a yeah, lot of good talking call, good happening, call, yeah. and, and I feel like I'm missing out. There we go. Boom. There we go. I think I got it. It's almost as if we should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, what's the way to mitigate like us not understanding what's going on with all the excitement, the E3 excitement around us? <laughs>
Yeah, this looks very important. I wish I had an iPad on. like that. You can see right through it. <laughs> cool. Swipe the touchpad to oh, interact, okay, so Justin. That's cool. One of these. Nice. It's just going to make me depressed. <laughs> It's like, what, what a way to kick off E3 2017 with a crime scene investigation. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is meant to be an especially happy game. No, it, I mean, as we said, Quantic Dream doesn't mess around. I but, got some more yeah, Malik, like what we were, we were saying, you know, that announcement trailer showed what was at stake. Yeah. It showed some of the very, you know, very relevant uh, conversations that this game is having in right. the community, which is sort of like, what is the meaning of AI? What, yeah. How does that AI fit in with the larger picture of right. you know, humanity and its interaction with AI? Indeed, so indeed. these are the big questions that I could not possibly answer by myself. Right. Well, and, and it's kind of cool, too, because it's also a contrast on just humanity, you know, uh, because the AI is kind of like, well, why is humanity the way humanity is? Always, it looks like something just happened there. All right. Oh, no. So this Raider was a first sure. responder, huh? Oof. More gory details. So Justin is uh, assessing that data. clues. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Now he's reconstructing the scene. Let's see what happened. Oh. oh, man. There it is. That's brutal. I've shot the Deviant. Okay. Okay. All right. What's over here? Hostage witness. Oh, no. Okay, we're starting to understand how this all went down. Oh, yeah. There's something over there. Weapon located. Okay. Justin, you were saying also that your percentage of success was changing? I didn't see yeah, that. Oh, the, it's right there. Oh, there right, it is. Yeah, the All right, dude, well, you got 58%. You, you got to step it up, man. You want to just try and, uh, you, you should just jump out onto the balcony and just go for it at like, 58. No. <laughs> no, we Stand still got down. a little time. Yeah. That's a cool statue. Yeah. yeah that is really nice. Maybe not relevant to the case, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still looking, still looking. I think looking. there was something Justin, in the I'm hostages getting, Like, I'm getting stressed out, man. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I, sorry, there, I'm trying to... to like, go outside? Because <laughs> I know what's going to happen when I go outside. I don't, I'm just trying to prolong it. I don't want to go outside. Well, what's really cool about scenes like this, when you're investigating, you're also kind of taking in the environment. Yeah. And you see how much detail they put into these games and into these environments, into these apartments, you know? Yeah, that's, I mean, that, again, it's like another specialty of Quantic Dream, yeah. right? Is that it's all those attention to detail. Yeah, and it man. makes their games feel more real. And that's one of the things that they're trying to do is make this feel like real characters, real people, real stories. Okay. I mean, these I think are I'm stories gonna... that could very well be happening, you know, right. 20, 30, 50 years from now, right? right. So it's, it's just, it's wild to think about. I think Justin is contemplating when contemplate. he wants to walk out. You want to go out now? To the balcony. Oh. There we go. Uh, Analyze a little more. Ew. Fresh, Fresh blue blood, blood. Android wounded. Uh oh. Good to know. Oh, Media he can model. tell what model it is based oh, on wow. the taste yeah. of its blood. This dude is such a badass. I Our love core. it. Wait, did your percentage just go down, Justin? It did it? It was 56, just, wasn't it? Oh no. I think you should just go outside. Okay, let's go for it. Whoa, oh. oh no. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Not for children. <laughs> oh, go for it, Justin. Uh, this is it. All right, here we go. We can do this. Nice. All right, let's easy. do this. I need your support, guys. Oh, no. Okay, found him. <laughs> Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, All right, take it easy. Take it easy. I'm so stressed. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. I All right. I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh, oh no. Dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> helicopter, no. <laughs> Go away. away. Helicopter. helicopter, you're ruining everything. <laughs> oh, I hey, can Spider Man, move. get the helicopter out of here. <laughs> <laughs> empathize. Empathize. I reassured. Oh, we can look at him. Oh, look at the LED on the side of his head. It's pulsing red. That's yep. probably not yeah. good. I'm assuming that means anger. 
maybe? Probably. I'm assuming it means it's up to no good. <laughs> You're right. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied. Oh, man, there's another body in the... Oh, my oh, God. My I can't take this, Justin. There's too much drama in this scene. She's just like all the other humans. Then you know. Get that. Listen. Yep. Okay. All right, all right. It's not your fault. Okay. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in the assault. No. Please. Oh, he's stabilizing. Please help me. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, no. This is not looking good, guys. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I'm actually real. My bombs are sweaty right now. <laughs> he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What oh, does it come matter on. if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Oh no. Oh Can't my god. I'm not alive. Ooh. Cold blooded. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> going to destabilize. Justin, oh, I can't take this. <laughs> What uh, if I need backup? Uh, easy. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to oh, die. Oh, man, this is so intense. Nobody's going yeah, to die. I think, uh, especially when you have kids, the, uh, seeing kids in danger is, uh, it, it's a little harder to watch. This would normally just be like, oh, whoa, this is so crazy. Right, right. But I'm all, I'm like all jittery now from watching this. All right, all right, all right. Good job. Good call, Justin. I think that's a good, good call. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. All right, there all right, go. all right, all right. We're going up. <laughs> all right, did we want it? <laughs> We're going up. <laughs> the percentage <laughs> is increasing. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Okay, that's good. Yep, we're going up. I to leave. Uh, and I want a car. All right. When I'm outside the city, I'll Why, let they want it. Yep. Let her go. Uh, I don't know. I would say compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise. Oh, it's yellow now. Okay. All right. He's stabilizing. That's good. Die. Yep. Hmm. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Yes. Nice. nice. Oh. Okay. I'm feeling so much better yeah. about this. I think. I think we're going to save her. Please. 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 Let's let the I little kid go. All, all right, right. trust you. All right, all right, good. He let her go. Go over there. All right, good. good. Okay. Oh! oh! No, why would you do that, Sniper Man? Oh man! We we had this under control. <laughs> good lord! Ah! We saved the hostage, though. We no, saved I the know. hostage. I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled about that. Yeah. I just wanted everybody to walk away from this totally fine. Hey, it was reassure or truth, and he did reassure. He didn't yes. say truth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Well, anyway, Quantic Dream, thanks for killing my mood this morning. <laughs> nice uplifting start to E3. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to E3. Well, the Deviant is still active, it looks like. Huh. All right, well. Justin, you're a hero. Justin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I need to, like, I feel like I, we all need to, like, just take a nice meditative moment. <laughs> it's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. But the hostage shaker could be the family's Andrew. Negotiator on site. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We need you to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor! There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. 
I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. Lie to me, Connor. You lied to me. My name is Connor. This is our story. Thank you. 